This is a video on how to hang a whiteboard on the wall. It came with these hangers. So we have to make the bottom perfectly level so that it can hold it. And then on the top, we use these and these have a spring in it. So you gotta, you gotta get it in the right place and then it comes down. So you push it up and then it goes down into place. We'll see how that works. So we did some math here. These are the math equations. On the wall, we wanted it to be 32 inches high. So what we did was we uh, added on three quarters of an inch for that fastener. And we're gonna, we put these on and we leveled it so that it's perfectly level across the top of the um, screws. And then we're gonna put the, the fasteners on and level it again, make sure it's perfectly level. Then we'll do the top ones. We are gonna use these wall mount ones because I feel like they work the best. Um, so we put a hole in to mark the center where we're gonna put the screws. And now we're gonna take those screws out, put these in exactly where they are, and then check the level again. We put in our first and it is still level. So we're gonna go with that as the way to do it. This might be up just a hair. We mounted the mounts in the correct position. Now, I would like them to be perfect because that would make a good video, but um, it's off by a hair. And that one's, they're pretty close. My biggest problem is that the wall's not straight. And it's way in on this one. It kind of goes in, so that's a problem. Next, we have to position the top ones exactly 79 and a quarter inches to the top of the bracket so that it fits the piece correctly. Add an extra eighth of an inch because it didn't fit. I do a little math equation. I put these little pads on the back I did uh, one in the center, or two in the center, two in the center of that, and then one in the center of up to down on the two ends. Everything looks like it's gonna work well. We're gonna see real soon. Here are the installation instructions. Notice how it does not give you any measurements of how far to put anything apart. It would be really easy for them to just tell you all that, and then you wouldn't have to worry about it. But they don't. Okay, so let's get down these measurements. Um, this is how far from the wall it was. Um, this is the first thing. So I added 13 inches that I wanted plus that and went across 11 7 8 35 and a quarter. I wanted to 59 and 3 8 and 82 and a half. We wanted it at a height of 32 and 3 quarters inch. Word length, which is 47 and a quarter high plus the 32 and 3 quarter height, which gave us the upper markings, but that's not how we did that. We measured from here to here, and we made sure that it was going to be in the closed position at uh, 47 and a quarter inches. So we know that each one of those closed, which means gripping over this, is going to be at 47 and a quarter inches. So there's the theory. This is what the whiteboard looks not on the wall. And this is what it looks like on the wall. Great hanging this with you today. See you next video.